Hi, my name is John Carnevale, just like my uh, profile says. Um, making this video for Crohn's patients. I, I, when I originally went through this, I didn't see a whole lot of uh, information about the surgery that I had, so I wanted to uh, sort of share. Uh, along with this channel, the more busy channel for me is UBMD Emergency Medicine. I'm responsible for all that content too. If you're a medical person and interested in that sort of thing, feel free to jump over there and check out the videos. So what I had was a fistulotomy done. I've had Crohn's disease since I was 11 years old, and I am now 56. And I've had the fistula itself, rectal and perianal fistula, for eh, probably 30-ish years. So uh, what had happened is the uh, fistula had done so much damage to the tissue uh, at the distal end of the uh, connection that it needed to be... Uh, basically removed so what the surgeon does is opens up that uh, that tract using a probe scrapes out all the granuloma which uh, in, in a Crohn's person is a, uh, a tissue that just sort of stays inflamed and really doesn't heal and left the uh, uh, wound open so I'd, th I'd, th I'd put a picture up here but uh, my wife says that's probably a little bit much for some people it, it, it looks much worse than it is because uh, it's a it's a wide open wound, so it puts you out of action for a little while. I also have uh, two cetons placed. Um, one, is, uh, both of them are going through the same hole, the original fistula and the rectum, and then back out to the uh, uh, buttocks area. So so far, this is day five. So far, uh, it hasn't been too bad. I had a little bit of bleeding yesterday, uh, as as kind of to be expected. I uh, had to put a little bit of a pressure dressing on that. And then uh, other than that, it's just been general pain. Uh, more from uh, the seton and the hole that was uh, created to put the seton in place than, than the raw patch. And the raw patch doesn't seem to have a whole lot of nerves. Uh, maybe because it's been destroyed or maybe the surgery does that, I'm not sure. Uh, is a single 7.5 hydrocodone takes care of the pain perfectly fine. Um, I'm able to walk around. I'm sitting right now, not too uncomfortable. It's a little bit painful. Uh, the surgery itself was uneventful. I woke up, uh, you know, normal amount of time. I was in there for an hour and a half or so. The first two days, I really didn't have any pain at all. I was kind of surprised. And then uh, as things started to get themselves uh, woken up, I guess, uh, healed a little bit, the, the pain's been getting a little, a little worse. So I'll take you on my journey uh, uh, just for other people with uh, Crohn's. So the, the point of this surgery for me was that tissue is was a site of reoccurrence. So what was happening is the fistula itself would is normally drains, but uh, because I'm on Humira, what would happen is the, uh, the, the holes would sort of fill in or the skin would grow over them and then the, that drainage area would get blocked and sometimes abscesses would form. And those are painful. When you have a, a decent abscess in your butt and there's nowhere really for it to go, that hurts. So continuation of the last uh, part, a little edit here. Uh, just to wrap this up, though, the bottom line of the surgery for me is to get rid of that destroyed tissue and to reduce recurrence of the abscesses. The fistula itself is going to stay in place. I elected not to go with one of the surgeries that uh, plugs that up uh, the recurrence rate uh, is pretty high and there's always that uh, possibility of incontinence I didn't want to take that chance so we will uh, take this journey hopefully this will be helpful for anybody with Crohn's as I mentioned I didn't see a whole lot of uh, videos about this online um, when I was researching this surgery for myself. So hopefully this will help somebody. Uh, happy to answer any comments in the, uh, or answer, answer any questions in the comments. Uh, and I'll talk to you next time.